Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome week. I mentioned in my stories earlier that um, I had had some questions about like desk setup and particularly upper back tension and stuff like that. So I wanted to hop on live and just share some tips. And this came up um, really this week because I have a couple of students in my membership group that are um, t uh, teachers. So they're back to virtual distance learning right now. Um, so they've been getting like some upper back and neck and shoulder tension. Um, but I'm, I'm just guessing this will, will be really useful really for anyone that's working from home right now. And we have our hopefully cute little setups at our house. So, um, what I wanted to share is that basically just like quickly go over like what happens when we're sitting for a long time at our same desk. Um, we start to like, and you can feel this in your own body, like you start to like slouch a little bit, you might start to hunch over. And over time, that can just start to cause tension in your upper back and like between the shoulder blades and even in your neck. And what happens when we what happens when we slouch in our upper back is our head droops forward then too. So then we get like some funky neck stuff. Um, so one of the things like from a yoga therapy perspective that can be really useful for you is if you just change the level of your setup. So I'll show you guys, um, oh, I don't know if I can flip it around. Can I? Let me see. Yeah, I can. Okay, so if you can see, like I'm at my desk right now and like my knee, I'm actually kind of, my desk is a little bit low like compared to where my chair is. So that when I'm looking at my laptop and I'll flip it back around so you can see, it's like I'm kind of almost looking down and it's a little bit lower. So I'm like the perfect candidate to have that like overtime slouch. Um, so what I do when I know I'm gonna be on my laptop all day and I did this during my yoga training is I'll just grab a yoga block and so you can do this with um, a stack of books or whatever you want. I just grab a yoga block and prop my prop prop my laptop up on the block so that it changes the height of my computer. So then my upper back and my neck are in a different position. So now when I'm looking at my computer, it's at like more of like an eye level. And then even sometimes if that starts to get irritating, I'll do even another block. So I have all these yoga blocks at my house just because I am a yoga teacher, but um, whatever you have works. So just changing the height, changing the, sorry guys, it keeps disconnecting me, but changing the height of your laptop can be really useful. And now you can see it's like even higher. So now I'm even looking up. And so the point being um, that it's not about like, like you want to, you want to set up so that you're a good height so that you're not slouching or also not like gazing up because then that could get funky in the back of your neck as well. Um, but a really good idea is to switch the height of it every couple of hours or every couple of days even just so that we don't get stuck in that same one position for the whole nine months of the school year, right? Um, and then another thing to do is also adjust the height of your chair. So, um, like in addition to adjusting the height of your laptop, so especially if your low back gets funky, um, you can have something underneath like a block or a stack of books to put your feet up on, or if your chair goes up and down, just like every couple of days, bump it up an inch or bump it down an inch, um, or like sit on a pillow or whatever. And then that, that sort of gets us out of that like same stuck position all day. Um, and I do this in the car as well. I was telling my students, um, I do this in the car too. If I'm on a long car trip and my leg starts to hurt or my like behind starts to hurt from pressing the gas all day, um, change, move your seat back or forward or move it up or down a little bit. And then um, your muscles will just be working in a slightly different way. So it's kind of like if you think about when we were kids and you would make like a crazy face and your mom would be like, if you do that too long, your face is going to get stuck that way. It's like mom's Right? Moms are always right. It's the exact same idea. Um, if we sit in the exact same position and look at our laptop in the exact same height all day, every day for like nine months or however long we're working from home, um, then it's going to cause some tension. So adjust the height of your laptop, prop it up with some books, put it up on a ledge, whatever you have, yoga blocks, and then also adjust the height of your seat. And um, I hope that helps. And then if you
And then if you still have tension, come join me for yoga and we'll work it all out. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or have any comments about it. And um, I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend.